Wheels Drum Master Lee. And Lulu. All right. I thought what we have here is a horror movie that we're going to react to because people love it. Because you basically freak the fuck out. Really? But I don't <laughs> know if this is a 100% horror movie because I ended up realizing this is a story from Agatha. This Agatha? is a story from <laughs> Agatha Christie. Yes, thank you very much. From a, one of her favorite characters, actually, one of her fan favorite characters, Hercule Perot. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Apparently not one of her favorites. She kind of hated that, right? Because he's kind of egotistical, kind of. I, I don't know much about it. All I know was that I have a bias against anything I guess like Christy because uh, I grew up. My best friend, which was uh, one of my neighbor kids when I lived in Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. another Asian dude. We would walk to school together because we we're neighbors, good friends. But truth is, we had nothing in common, nothing that interests like at all. He loved collecting baseball cards. I love playing video games. He loved reading Agatha Christie, and I read comic books. So yeah, all I know is that what is a fifth grader Asian dude reading a whole bunch of novels that feel like it's designed for like middle aged English women, right? Like I, I never understood the appeal so i never got into it but there's some pretty famous people in this movie here including michelle yo and tina fey really yeah i'm like well that's interesting huh. especially since it's like set in venice obviously and i'm like what are those two doing out there like kenneth ragnall like i get it you know he could definitely play you know european type but the other two interesting choices here <laughs> so i wanted to check it out are you sure this is like a scary movie that's just it. I don't know. So I can't promise you you're going to be scared out of your wits. Mystery. Uh. Thriller. Because that's, uh, I think, what Agatha Christie was known for, writing, like, murder mysteries. Oh. Stuff like, like, Knives Out. Kind of like that okay, style okay, of okay. writing. That still creeps me out. Yeah, everything creeps you out, baby. <laughs> The horror movies take a whole nother level because you will just scream and then you'll dig your, like, nails into my flesh kind of thing. That's what we want. Those kind of reactions. What the heck? All right, let's check this out, yo. By the way, if you want to hear some wicked wild stories, you got to follow my channel. And if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show on my OnlyFans. If you want to hear a scream. Hercule Poirot, I've found something. I've looked at it from every which way. I am the smartest person I've ever met. The sound is scary. Out, so I came to the second. You are up to something, my friend. I've seen a million of these so-called psychics, each one a fake. I do not believe in psychics. Come with me to a seance. Spot the con I can't. Detective, you are here to discredit me, but I can talk to the dead. I'd give all I have to hear my daughter's voice. This is so If someone creepy. wants to be heard, we are here. Her hands even Listening. creep me. Fuck. No one shall leave this place until I know who did it. A ghost killed her. There must be a rational answer for all of this. Ah! Just admit that you are up against something bigger than you. No. Why would you, you do really that? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Calm the fuck up. You were saying... Something in this house tried to kill me. Don't look at me like I'm suspect. We're old friends. Every murderer is somebody's old friend. No one shall leave until I find if the living have been killed by the dead. You have been hiding here all this time. Who are you talking to? Ah! 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 <laughs> well, damn, baby. Mm -hmm. They did a good job freaking you out. 
<laughs> if that was what they're going for, this feels more like a horror movie than a murder mystery. Yeah. That being said, maybe it is a true horror movie. Like I, I don't know the plot. Maybe there is, you know, the undead come back alive and talk. <laughs> but man, that was intense. That was intense. They finally made Agatha Christie cool. <laughs> what the fuck has Hollywood might have done something right here? Oh my god! And the sound system. Oh, really? they did an amazing job with the sound effects in this trailer. <laughs> Just the right ticks of silence, and then sudden like boom, and the sharpness of the sound. It's creepy. They got a lot of good. They did. Yeah. Good the, job. The vice on president that one. of sound deserves a promotion <laughs> to president of sound. <laughs> See, why people do this kind of shit? You know something's going to happen. Do you really believe in seances, like be able to call people from the dead? Mm, I haven't done it, but I do believe in spirit. Oh, that's true. I know, because you actually saw a, yeah. a dead person before mm. in, when you went to that abandoned house. Yes. And oh, I remember that story, baby. You know what? I do believe in ghosts. Do I believe that you can make a you know cell phone call to them and then like, <laughs> hey... It's just like a video conference and just pop up, hey, it's me. I don't know about that. Yeah, Especially it's, possession it's stuff. It's about. I don't know if I buy possessions. Really? Yeah. It's a whole nother. I mean, look, there's levels of taking shit over, right? Like if, if ghosts, like, do you believe that there's an afterlife? Okay, I can, I can buy that. Do you believe that sometimes they're stuck in that they can kind of pass through? You can hear, feel things? Okay, I'll buy that too. <laughs> do you believe they can come through enough to take over and go like, ah! That they can hold you? That they can, like, take, like, your body. I'm like, hey, how you doing? I like a large fries with that. Like, that, I find it harder. Like, it's really hard for me to buy into that. I'm just using tears of, you know, what can be reasonably bleak. And then, it's like, then they're gone. You're like, hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm back. I'm back. Hi, I'm Lulu. <laughs> that, that part... I just haven't seen enough evidence. It's just a lot of, you know, these kind of games, like a Ouija board kind of stuff that makes you go like, if, this way, if it was that easy to conjure dead and you could go buy one of these things at Target for $9.99, yeah. I feel like, well, God did design these realms very good. He, he had a lot of holes in the wall. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's too much bad construction between the two realms. And it just doesn't feel like that's the way he would have built this. Oh, my God. John, you need to try it until you... <laughs> I'll try it, baby. I'm not freaked out by no, it. No, I'm not. But I, when I do it, I would freak you out, though. I know. I would totally way. <laughs> freak the hell out of you. Who would want to do good. that with us? Hmm. Baby, I want to watch this one. 